Yeah, this 500 pound loss in bench press is dedicated to Greg Smith II. First off, all respect to his family and loved ones. I don't know y'all, he didn't know mine, but we got it in, we was gym family. Now what no one really knew was, before he died, me and him had a conversation over about the dip bars, about the dip bars, and like he had found out I had a gun up in the gym, and we was talking about that shit. <laughs> You know, he was kind of like, what the fuck? You know, why you need all that? And I was on that shit like, you never know when, when motherfuckers gonna pop up. I mean, you never know. And that conversation will never stop playing in my head. It, it'll never go away. Because I don't know what happened to him. I don't know how they popped up on him. But I'm always imagining, like, if he was ready, he'd still be here. I'm just telling you, man, he was just saying I was too paranoid and I'm telling him the opposite you can never be too paranoid but man yeah that shit hit me hard cause even when I wouldn't want to go lift man I knew he'd be up there Monday or I was hoping he'd be up there and it pushed me and cause he I got him to bench in close with his hands and a couple other cats up there yeah shout out to all the cats that was up there like Zach Reed Reed doing big things in Hollywood now and um you know all the cats that was up there at Bally's off in the heights. Shout out. Some of y'all wonder why I go with them snobs and powerlifting snobs that say, if it ain't on the platform, it don't count. Because when he got popped, all he got was this 460 pound bench press put in the news with his murder article. And that shit counted. Nah, his bench didn't end up on open powerlifting. It ended up in his fucking murder article. That's what ended up, and it fucking counts. So yeah, this 500 for him, cause he never got to get there cause he got taken too soon. But best believe he would've. Yeah, and I did it at 50, I'm still here. And some of y'all got a problem with me quoting my age, but y'all ain't been through what I've been through. So I'm gonna quote my age. Hey Grady, I could've used one of your lift offs today cause this shit would've flew up there. Respect, man.